Okay, time for another fantasy booking. Uh, Bound for Glory 2011. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, this is part of a series that I've been doing for the past few months. Uh, I started at Victory Road and I went onwards. Uh, it's going to be a full year of bookings. Okay, I finally decided that it's a full year and that's what I'm going to be doing. Alright. We start off the, with the Knockouts Tag Team title match. For those who don't know, I've made Sarita and Rosita the, the Knockouts Tag Team Champions. Uh, versus Madison Rain and Tara. Uh, with this one, uh, I would probably make it pretty short. Uh, even though there is a lot of talent I gather in here. Uh, but it would be pretty short because I wouldn't want it to be long because Madison Rain's in it and I quite frankly don't think she is good as an in-ring person. She'd be better off as a manager, but hey. Uh, and Serena and Rosita would get the win. They get the win here. Uh, X Division title match. Douglas Williams versus Amazing Red versus Jay Lethal. Now, for this one, I would have Amazing Red get the win and win the X Division title. And it wouldn't be a fluke. It'd be, wow, this guy's finally getting the recognition he deserves. And, yep. From there, we go to the tag team title match. Pardon me. Uh, Eric Young and Okada with Rob Terry taking on the Motor City Machine Guns with the guy in their corner, Matt Morgan. Uh, basically, what would happen in this is Rob Terry would try and get involved, Matt Morgan would stop him, big boot. Uh, and shortly thereafter, one of the Motor City Machine Guns would get the pin. Most likely Chris Saban, or it could be Alex Shelley, but one of the Motor City Machine Guns gets the win on Okada. Eric Young wouldn't take the fall here. Knockouts title match. Three-way. Another one. <laughs> Angelina Love. Taking on Winter versus Mickey James and Winter would get the win here. Finally, she gets the win. She gets the knockouts title. Uh, from there, we go to Rob Van Dam taking on the heel, Mr. Anderson. Uh, this is stemming from a matchup earlier in the, my program. Uh... Quite honestly, I don't know who would get the win here, but I'll say uh, Mr. Anderson because of what happens next. Uh, Got to try and get a couple of heels winning here. Um, basically, that would not be a terribly long match. Under 20 minutes, I'd say. Probably 15. But yeah, uh, not a, a very long match. Uh Next up, Kurt Angle versus Hernandez. Now, there's no doubt, I reckon, the talent that is involved in this match. Um, Kurt Angle would probably do most of the carrying, but probably not too much, because I, I reckon Hernandez is a great wrestler uh, for a big man. Uh, Kurt Angle would get the win here, but it wouldn't be a really... Uh, big win. It'd be like Angle had it taken to him by Hernandez. But he managed to get it like a roll-up or a quick ankle lock or something. Uh, finally, uh, no, not finally, but, uh, yeah, next up. Sting versus Samoa Joe. Now, this would be a rematch from a couple of years ago, uh, a couple of years years ago at Bound for Glory, and oh, by the way, this is a retirement match, and I mean, when I say retirement, I mean, that's it, Ugh. you're done, uh, I don't think Joe would probably put up his career, but he'd pretty much say, oh, you want, a rematch? You want another match with me, Sting, fine, uh, you want another match with me, it's, it's, it's Bound for Glory, Sting, you put up your career, because uh, I'm sick and tired of you, Taking all this money away from the company. Blah, blah, blah. Along those lines. You're not contributing enough anymore. Blah. 
you're just an old man, blah, blah, things along that line. And it angers Stingy. And it's almost heelish type behavior, I gather, from Joe. But the thing, uh, thing about it is uh, a lot of what he's probably saying is probably right or something. So, something along those lines. But at the end of the day, Joe gets the win, stings out. The Probably the following night on Impact, he gives a heartfelt speech saying, hey, the better man won, blah, blah, blah. Along those lines. All right, now, you're probably saying, oh, I haven't mentioned the TV title. Well, the way this comes about, it's title versus title, world title versus TV title, AJ Styles versus the Pope, rematch from lockdown the previous year, the lockdown the previous year. Uh, basically, what comes about of this is the Pope's beat just about everyone in there is for the TV title. He's had a long run. As the TV champ, AJ's had a long run as the the world champ. Um, basically, Foley would initiate this match, title for title. Uh, the Pope has done done great work. AJ's done great work, and we just go to school with this one. It's go bring bring up the previous match at lockdown, saying. Uh, AJ cheated and took the Pope out for a few a uh, few months back in uh, the previous year, and the Pope never real I don't think ever really got the revenge revenge for that against AJ, and we bring the, this up. The Pope wants revenge. AJ's wants to hold on to that belt, but. The Pope gets the win, and he walks away with two titles, and uh, he's gloating all the way up the, the ramp, and basically the Pope would have cheated to win uh, with a low blow, a pair of brass knucks, something like that, to get the win here. Anyway, I believe that's it. Uh, uh, recently, I did a video with Big Dan. Uh, I've uh, uploaded that to my channel. I'll put up a link video or I'll pull up the link with this so you can see that. We basically talked about all the Saw movies. Um, yeah, so check that out uh, on my channel, Magpie2541. Uh, Saw, we review each movie. It took uh, It's a long video too, by the way, so... Take a deep seat for it. Uh, yep, uh, and that's it. Uh, thank you for listening. Stay tuned for my turning point fantasy booking.